Hello everyone, let's start with a new video of Magento 2 Marketplace Table Rate Shipping. This module is very much beneficial for the marketplace users. So after installing this module, admin provide a facility to the sellers to set shipping costs according to them. Uh, the sellers can easily upload shipping price by uploading a CSV file and the shipping price will be calculated according to every seller. So to configure this module, uh, we have to log into our admin panel. So this is our demo admin panel. We have to go to marketplace management and here you can see the marketplace table rate shipping manager. But at first we have to go to stores and under stores we have to go to uh, configuration to configure the module as per the admin. So here is the uh, sales drop down here is uh, shipping setting shipping methods and the payment methods so we will uh, go to the shipping methods so here is uh, webcool marketplace table rate shipping details so we will click on this drop down so the menu has been displayed so here admin can easily enable or disable uh, this shipping method uh, from here Uh, then the title table rate uh, admin can set any title as per their need and then the name of uh, the shipping method web full table rate shipping then the display error message admin can display any error message admin can enter any error message here now the ship to applicable countries all allowed countries or you can uh, select some specific countries by uh, clicking on this and selecting uh, multiple countries from here so we will click on the all allowed countries so that's all for the configuration part you can save the configuration from this button and the configuration will be saved so now we will go to the marketplace management marketplace table rate shipping manager Here, the uh, shipping details uh, will be displayed for the marketplace. These are the shipping details. Admin can add uh, shipping rates uh, by uploading a CSV file. Admin can uh, download a sample CSV file from uh, this link and uh, fill up the CSV and upload the CSV file from this button. So we will so we will demonstrate you uh, about the downloading a sample CSV file and uh, uploading a CSV file uh, from the sellers panel also. So that's all for the admin shipping addition part. So these are the ex existing uh, shipping which admin have added uh, to the account. So that's all for the admin part. So now we will move to our uh, demo sellers account. So uh, here is our demo sellers account and a seller can easily manage the table rate shipping uh, from here. Uh, under marketplace dashboard you will get marketplace table rate shipping uh, by clicking on this uh, menu. You will uh, be redirected to the marketplace table rate shipping. So here these are the existing uh, table rate which uh, the seller have added uh, to their account. So seller can easily edit any of the shipping rates or delete any of the shipping rates. So I will show you how seller can edit. I will click on the edit button and here is a message. Are you sure you want to edit? I will click on OK. So here seller can easily edit the record by editing these informations and uh, by clicking on the save uh, the modification will be saved so that's all for the existing uh, shipping addition or deletion part 
uh, now we will uh, go and uh, download a sample csv file so i will click on uh, this download sample csv file so uh, here i have downloaded a csv file so i will open this csv file to edit or to add uh, some shipping rates in the csv file so here is our sample csv file here a uh, seller have to uh, enter the country code like i n uh, for india uh, then the region id you can write the region id then the zip code zip from and to so here is uh, 0 to 100 you can write any zip code as per your uh, requirement or you can uh, simply write uh, star and star zip from and zip to uh, star and star uh, so that all the zip codes will be added in uh, that rate so now the price for uh, this rate will be 10 now the weight from 10 to 10,000 so we have added a row for a uh, price now we will add a price for the US price will be $15 now the weight will be 100 to 1000 so we have added two rows uh, of uh, shipping rates uh, so now we will save uh, this csv file so we have saved this csv file now we will upload this csv file So we will click on the choose file. Now we will go to downloads. So here is our shipping info CSV. We will open this. So here is uh, the name written shipping info dot CSV. Uh, now we will uh, save the shipping by clicking on the save the shipping. The shipping uh, has uh, will be uploaded. So here is a success message. Your shipping details has been successfully saved so now you can easily uh, view where uh, our new added uh, shipping uh, rates so here is in and us here is our new added or recently added shipping rates uh, we can also delete or edit uh, these shipping rates like if we click on this delete button then here is a uh, message that are you sure you want to delete and by clicking on the ok button uh, the shipping uh, row will be uh, deleted Re shipping rate row is deleted so uh, that's how the shipping can be uploaded by the sellers or by the admin now we will uh, go to add a product we are going to add uh, some products in our cart of uh, this particular seller and we will uh, show you how a customer can select table rate shipping as a shipping method so at first we have to check the my product list so these are the products of uh, this particular seller so blue coat we will add blue coat to our uh, shopping cart so here we have added uh, one blue coat and one gray coat uh, of uh, this seller so now we will go to checkout so here is the checkout page 
you can select any of the address shipping address uh, from here or you can add new address uh, from this button so here is the shipping methods web cool table rate shipping so and the fixed rate shipping so a customer can easily select the web cool table rate shipping and uh, click on next now here is the order summary here is uh, here is the cart total and here is the shipping rate and these are the items uh, by clicking on the place order the order will be placed so uh, that's how customer can easily select table rate shipping for uh, their shipping for their products or purchases <clears throat> so that's all for this video i hope you have understood how admin can easily configure table rate shipping for the magento 2 marketplace and how admin and seller can upload csv file for uploading uh, shipping rates according to their need and uh, how sellers can easily edit or delete the shipping uh, rates according to them and how customer can easily select shipping uh, table rate shipping for their purchases so thank you for watching this video stay connected